The Twyford Motor Car Company operated from 1905 to 1907 and produced the world's first four-wheel drive automobile. The factory was located on the south side of the Tromont and Penzi railroad tracks at the end of 6th Street in Brookville. The few years that the company was in operation, it is said that they only produced five vehicles. The car you are viewing now is a replica of the original Twyford car and was built by Bill McCracken. On account of the four-wheel drive, uh, this car could go anywhere. If it got in a ditch, uh, it would pull itself back out. Uh, you wouldn't have to put rope around the tires for extra traction or chains, we would call them later on. And you wouldn't have to bother with that. You wouldn't have to get out of the car. You just turn it over into the middle of the, towards the center of the road and it would climb its way right back out on the road. So this was a big advantage, and this is why everybody liked it. And I assume that, that the reason that it didn't take was on account of the initial cost of it. This replica of the 1905 model has many unique features, the most important being its four-wheel drive capability. The car's transmission contained a single plate clutch, the transmission gears, transfer case, and a four-wheel brake system. They were located in the gearbox on the lower frame of the car. The front axle of the car has no steering knuckles. This feature is unique because when you turn the steering wheel, the whole axle pivots, just like a toy wagon. It has an inline gear shift with rear shift, two forward speeds, one reverse, and two neutrals, with standard gas, clutch, and brake pedals. The engine and transmission have a frame of their own, separate from the upper chassis of the car. This was an early form of shock absorbers. The car was designed with a mid-shift engine. This means that the engine is located underneath the driver's seat to distribute its weight equally between the front and rear axle. This provides a well-balanced performance when the vehicle is in motion. The original engine was a since two-cycle, three-port fuel-injected engine. It had no camshaft or valves. The engine you are looking at now is a Leroy two-cylinder, four-cycle engine. The only component under the hood of the car were the gas tank, the fan that cools the radiator, and a water pump. The radiator was made of small individual tubes grouped together in sections. Along with the water pump and fan, their function was to cool the engine and make it run smoothly. The headlight mounted on the front of the car was a carbide gas light. The side lights and rear lights were all fueled by kerosene. The original tires were 3 by 21 the tires on this vehicle are 3 by 17. But this is definitely the first four-wheel drive in America and the first successful four-wheel drive in the world. And in 1985, I decided that we were going to build one. So the people were so good to me and help, helpful all these years that uh, I could do no less than to turn it back over to them. And so the History Center here was the place for it to go. And they have it in, uh, in their gallery now, and that's, it's in the dry, and it's out of the weather, and, <laughs> and they can enjoy.